Hello there, this is Dave Allen for the Amazing iPad and today we're going to have a look at some more amazing tips for the Amazing iPad. So here we go. First of all, we're in a Safari window here. And what I want to do is I want to save one of these images off the page here. Did you know that you could do that? Well, all I need to do is to press and hold down on that image and I get the choices of open, open in new tab. I can add it to a reading list or I can save the image or I can copy it. In this instance, I want to save the image. So I want to click on save. And that image is going to go off into the camera roll. How about that then? Now, the other thing is, is that once you've got your photographs in there, at some point in time, you're going to think, well, gee, I've got too many photographs in there. Let's get rid of a few of them. So, so what we need to do is to go to our photo roll. So let's... Uh, and here's the image that we just saved from the internet. Lovely. Let's go back into our photo stream. Go into our photos. What if I want to delete a whole part of them all at the same time? Well, you can do that. All you need to do is to press on this little thing at the top right-hand corner there. And I can select a few. Let's select all of these here. So I've got the little blue tick in each of those there now. And I can click on the delete button and I can delete all those selected photos all in one go. How about that then? What else might you want to do with your photographs? Well, there's a lot of different apps out there. One of my favourites is this one called Snapseed. Now, this is a photograph that I took today around by the lake in Banyolas. And it's not a bad little photograph. It's got some colour in there. But what about if I want to do something with it? So if I select a drama, I'm just moving my finger up and down on the screen at the moment in the centre. And I can choose from filter strength or saturation. So what I want to do now is I want to increase the filter strength. So I'll move my finger from the left to the right. Anywhere on the screen will do that. And up it goes. And let's go to saturation now. And again, I'm going to move the finger from the left to the right. Now, isn't that a marvellous looking picture now? Because it's all bright and colourful. Or what I could do if I wanted to is I could take it down to the left and I turn that into a black and white photograph. So let's see what happens when I click on this button here for style. Well, there's a few different possibilities there. I could go for a dark and number two. Let's see what we get with this one here. So this time I'm taking saturation back up again. And you see the picture does look a little bit darker than before. And the filter strength is at 100. And I can take it down so that the filter strength is at, say, 60%. And we've got a different looking photograph there again. If I want to, what I can do is I can click on the button down the bottom left-hand corner here for compare. And that's the after and that's before. In this particular occasion, I think the before one looks better than the after one. The, back, the after one is a bit too dark. Let's go back into style again, and we'll choose bright. And we're getting the sort of HDR type of look in this one here. So let's uh, take that there. And I'm going to go from right to left, take the filter strength down a wee bit. And I'm going to take the saturation down a little bit as well. So we've got... That's the after, and that's the before. So after, before... And when you've got all those and you've decided that you've got something that you like, all you got to do is click on the Apply button and it does its processing and you have a new image to save to your camera roll. You can do other things like putting frames around this as well. There's a nice little frame we can change the frame width. And again, I'm going from left to right on this here, put a larger frame on it. How about that? And if I go up, I can do a frame offset. And that just uh, changes where the frame starts on your picture. There you go. What I'm doing now is I'm just tapping on this uh, Properties button over on the right-hand side of the list there. And it's changing the frame as it goes. So you tap on a few of those until you get something that you like and away you go. Snapseed is an absolutely marvellous application from uh, those people at Nick Software. And I like it. It's well worth having it on my iPad. So this is Dave Allen for The Amazing iPad with a few amazing iPad tips. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you haven't done so already, click on that like button. Do it now. Bye-bye now.